I have an open communication line. Let's talk. They're all adults. They're all... You must listen to them. You must give them the respect. And football players, they know when genuinely you respect them. Genuinely you give them good advice. They know and they will appreciate that. And, and that's what I do, you know. And I've never had... It's like when I wanted to bring in Mikel, because I left him out. I didn't. I said, you know, you have your problem with Nigerians, blah blah blah. And I didn't bring him because you know he was playing that big guy that. And they called me and said, Coach, I like to come back to the national. I said, No, you're not coming. I said, You're not coming. And I dropped my phone. And he called back again, coach. You gotta hear me out. I'd like to come. I said, Well, to do what? I'm trying to build a team here. And these kids they are very respectful. They give their heart out. They they want to play for Nigeria, they want to make sure Nigeria is great. You're not gonna do that for us. We don't need you. <laughs> you know. His agent called back and I said, You, I don't wanna to talk to you. You're not Mikhail. If I want to talk to somebody, it's Mikhail. So Mikhail called back again and I said, okay, let's talk. What do you want? I want to come back. And at this point, there's almost 80% of Nigerians don't want to see Mikhail playing the national team. I said, do you know you have a big problem with the national team? Nigerians don't want to see you. But I'm going to take this risk upon me to bring you in. But this is what we have to do. If you agree, so be it. So okay, coach. And since Mikel has been in the national team with me, he has been a great professional player. Great professional. Great attitude in training. Great, you know, whatever. You know, it's just different Mikhail and and I just said enjoy your game go and have fun so we we have this line that is open for us to talk um, there's no superstar in this team everybody has to work for one another and that's it you see we do not just pick players and to the national team because we want to pick players or we want to make Nigerians happy that we have new players uh, we must have seen a player severally. We must probably send somebody out again, give us some rapport about the player, and which we've done in the case of these four guys. And uh, and the time was ready for us to let them uh, come in and exhibit what they can do. And I'm happy with what I saw. Michael played, but he wasn't playing tactically the way we're playing. You know, he was playing with his uh, skill and potential. And not that he was a bad player. I liked what I saw in him. I know by the time he understands the way we play, the, the role he's playing, he will be much, much better for us. And, and, but I had to pull him out because I wanted to see Aziz in that same position. And Aziz Osi also was not bad. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing for Nigeria. I've not had holidays because since I came to the States, I've been to Brazil for the workshop, come back. Now, one week later, I'm in Atlanta for this game. So maybe now I'll go back and try to spend some few days with the family, with the kids, you know. So I'm going back to California to stay with the family a little bit before before heading to 